So I'd like to talk a little bit about my methods module on digital ethnography. Digital ethnography is one of the methods modules offered in the first half of Hillary term. And it allows students to spend four weeks really delving into one of the core qualitative methods that's available to us as researchers, which is participant observation, other things that go along with doing ethnography. This course is um, interesting to me in a, in a number of ways. First of all, as someone who teaches it, I come from a background of anthropology, and so being able to teach this topic is quite uh, near and dear to my heart. Um, but I also find that students really enjoy this course for a variety of reasons. First of all, they often pick very fun projects. Uh, students have studied things ranging from uh, the quantified self and people who track all their movements online to online communities that do some very strange, interesting things that they're able to participate in. In the course, you'll be able to read some of the good examples of digital ethnography that exist. And I, I, I'm the first one to say that up until a few years ago, I didn't have enough readings to be able to offer this course. But when we added this course a few years ago, it's when the, the flowering of digital ethnography really started to happen in the last few years. Books such as Bonnie Nardi's My Life as a Night Elf Priest, I think are really interesting ways of showing how an, a researcher can get engaged with an online community and write a really rich digital ethnography of the kinds of experiences people have online. Now, when you take this course, you'll be asked before the beginning of the course even to start thinking about a community that you might be able to study, that you might be able to get engaged with, and you might be able to work with over a few weeks' time. And then in the, as the course goes on, you'll be thinking about how you might go about doing that, what kind of evidence you might collect. And in the end, you'll be writing a short report based on the experiences you've had in working with this community. Now, this is only a four-week project, so it's not going to be a full-blown ethnography, but you'll start to really be able to engage with questions of meaning and experience that people have in the world. So I really encourage people to take this if they want to have the possibility of doing really rich qualitative studies in their dissertations, or if they're just more interested in how you might use these sort of qualitative ways of understanding the world in your future work or in your careers. Many more industries are starting to employ ethnographers within their companies to understand people's experience of things like uh, human-computer interaction, how do people experience that interface, how do people work with each other. It's these meaning questions that go beyond the simple numbers that you really can start to dig into in the digital ethnography course.